Hi guys! In today's video we will be making this fire nymph as a part of my Elemental Doll series. It is still meant to be a figurine even though I chose not to cover her joints this time since the joints doesn't really bother me all that much. Her hair was slightly difficult because the first thing that came to mind was having it go upwards like a flame but I didn't want her to look like a human torch so therefore I went for this size swept hairdo instead. I used this Monster High Operetta doll as the base for this project. She is also bought second hand and beyond having slightly loose joints she is in pretty good condition except her hair was a little messy. I chose to use her for her very defined face sculpt and also the swirly markings on her face which I thought could look either like fire or heat waves. After removing all of her accessories I cut away the hair since I didn't like the plasticky feel of it. Even though I won't be painting this doll with acrylic paint like the others, I still want the body to be as smooth as possible so we'll be going over all the joints where the plastic has been put together, leaving kind of a little ridge and also I'll be filing away her permanent underwear. I also buffed away the printed markings on her arm. Use acetone on the polish remover to remove her face. I primed both face and body using the Mr. Super Clear spray, even though I repainted them separately. Then I used mica powders in two different shades for the basic coloring before using some chalk pastel, watercolor pencils and a bit of alcohol ink and acrylic paint for the rest of the repaint. I used a gold mica powder for my base color, using this all over the face, sealing it in for a few layers with the Mr. Super Clear spray until I had the color I want and then I used a more orange shade to build up a bit of shading. When you're happy with the base color, seal it in and then start working on the eyes. Since the base color of the doll is so strong, I started by sketching on the eyes with my black watercolor pencils before drawing on the eye whites here with acrylic paint and then also the eyeliner with acrylic paint. I used a copper alcohol ink for the basic iris color. I didn't paint on any eyelashes since I'll be giving her very dramatic 3D ones later. Draw on the eyebrows with the reddish brown pencil. Seal the face with a spray again whenever you want to save your progress and work on top. I use black pastel to shade for a smoky look. I mix mica powder with a bit of water to get it in the pattern. Once I was happy with the face I moved on to the body. I chose the position I wanted her to stand in and then I glued the joint shut. Obviously if you want a possible doll you can just skip this. Then I layered the gold mica powder all over the body, sealing with a Mr. Super Clear spray a few times until I had the opacity I wanted and then I shaded with a more coppery tone.
Seal both head and body with the spray a final time. I decided to paint the top of her head with a coppery ink, but you don't really have to do this, you can skip it, it won't be visible. For the hair, I used acrylic yarn, which I brushed out and then straightened to make doll hair that is light and very poseable. At first I thought I would be using both this orangey shade and also the dark red, but in the end I only used the dark red because I thought it looked the best. I glued the hair directly onto the head in the direction I wanted to go, and I went for this kind of side swept hairdo. And here's the final hair. I wanted it to look like individual strands, almost like dancing flames. To finish the eyes, I cut up regular eyelashes and glued a few pieces to the outer corner of each eye. I felt the lips ended up a little too light, so I added a bit of red chalk pastel to them, and then I sealed in both eyes and lips with a glaze. Keeping up with the theme of the other dolls, I used this light flowy fabric which I colored with a red marker and then took a long strip and arranged this in a wavy pattern around her covering up the areas I wanted to be covered. I wrapped some wire around her wrist so that you can hold a bit of swirly fire. Like the others I wanted her to have wings and I wanted it to look like flames that were kind of wrapping around her, so I made these two parted wings for each side, cutting them out of some plastic packaging, and then gluing on two types of glitter. And here's the final wing pieces. Now you can attach them to and around the doll. I glue my doll onto the base of a doll stand, but that's optional, and then she's done. I really like the way she turned out and even though she's a little different from the others, I really think it's coherent. I also think that fire is the more fierce element and I think that's what she looks like. I hope you enjoyed these elements so far and I plan to be doing the element of earth really soon. Thank you guys so much for watching, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in a new one real soon. Bye!